What's up everybody? I hope you guys are having a blessed and awesome day. I know I am. I'm taking in Sedona. Uh, I'm very fortunate that Sedona is in my backyard. And so whenever I get a chance, I come up here just to go ahead and take in the beautiful scenery, explore, seeing what's new, because uh, every day it's always something new and exciting. Um, even though how many times I've been in many different trails before. So I am the author of what the Fred? I am Fred Martinez and continuation on the lessons from what the Fred this is the one that's really important that I think that we shall take to heart lesson 15 if you or someone you know is experiencing suicidal thoughts seek help seek help from a healthcare provider immediately and the thing there is that individuals are always seeking um, they're giving you signs that something's, something's wrong and they feel like they're, the only way out is just to end it because your life feels, feels like it's in despair. Um, I lost a lot of good friends from, suic from suicide. Um, and when I look back at it, were the signs there? Yeah, there were signs were somewhat there, but I also was... Uh, when an individual is taking some kind of a substance and then there's alcohol involved it ends up amplifying it and then this and then the state that the person's in kind of changes of what's going on because of you know I can only I can speak for myself of what happened with me on my emotional it's in the my stories in the book um, that where I was in my emotional state and where I am right now completely different and realizing that I had to go through that low in my life in order to experience um, all these different progressions in my life to elevate my life to become a better and stronger individual. And without hitting that rock bottom and realizing that I wanted to end it all, that I was in that, that pit of despair and realizing that that was probably the only thinking I wanted somebody else to feel the pain um, and what is that you know I'm just projecting uh, my my hurtness and my anger and frustrations upon someone else and you're hurting someone else because you're you're playing that victim that you want to blame it on somebody else like because of you I'm in this situation when in fact we're in our own situation this is our own life and when you're thinking about ever thinking about ending your life really look in the mirror and look at what you've accomplished in your life there's a reason why you're here today and what you're going through is just going to be a small blip in your whole entire life you might think that the world's going to come that the world came to an end with you and things like that and you realize that there is a lot more to see and feel and to live i just want to reiterate that when you're thinking about suicide or if you know someone is thinking about suicide it this is something it's not a joking manner you want to go ahead and get the help for individuals after one of my best friends ended up committing suicide uh, I ended up taking a uh, suicide prevention course we we're doing some uh, mock uh, what do you call it, scenarios on what to say what to do it could be triggering for someone and they might take it the wrong way that's why you really have to take it all in on knowing what to say and almost just be of love seek out help my friends that's all I can just say well you guys have a blessed you guys have a uh, blessed and awesome day be about it instead of talking about it and namaste